What's up gamers? It's your host Cobra, and today on the free roll, I'm introducing you to a game called Guild of Guardians. Guild of Guardians is a fantasy RPG mobile game that's going to be releasing uh, sometime next year. Uh, you're going to assemble a team of four different characters and raid a dungeon together. Uh, you'll also be joining in, uh, into guilds uh, and playing with your friends or other competitive players uh, to work together for some of the best items. Uh, characters come in different classes and factions like Horde or Empire, uh, Mages and Warriors. Uh, they also have different uh, classic fantasy elements like Fire, Water, Earth. Um, when you're purchasing them, they're going to come in different rarities as well. Uh, so far they have sold all of the legendary characters, uh, but soon epic and rare characters will be available as well. Uh, there are also other NFTs uh, that are in-game assets as well. Uh, the guilds themselves are an NFT that uh, are already available in the market. Uh, in upcoming sales, they're also going to be selling energy boosters and pets as well. Uh, Dungeons will serve as the in-game levels, if you will. Uh, so it's not a big open world, uh, but rather a series of different dungeons, at least at the start. Um, I also expect they'll add different game modes like a PvE arena, um, guild battles would be really cool, um, and world bosses. Um, just some different ideas that you've seen in other fantasy RPG games. Um, so what is it about Guild of Guardians that has me so excited? Well, it's because they're aiming to be a major disruptor to the gaming industry. Uh, what does that mean exactly, though? Uh, by putting this game on the blockchain, and um, really, they're aiming to be the first mobile AAA game um, that lives on the blockchain, uh, what they are doing is transferring a major chunk of ownership of that game platform to the players themselves. Uh, the model has always existed within uh, video game platforms, especially um, fantasy RPGs. Uh, they've had in-game economies for a long, long time, um, even ones that have allowed players to uh, make a profit outside of the game in US dollars, um, but that has always been very problematic. Um, the blockchain solves a ton of those problems, uh, right? Verified ownership means that we don't have to deal with fakes um, and uh, an instant reliable currency uh, to sell those assets like Ethereum makes it really easy to transact and find a buyer. Um, so this is going to really revolutionize gaming um, and it's going to be on your cell phone um, you're going to be able to earn crypto uh, by playing a fun game on your cell phone or tablet um, that is just really really cool uh, now because guild of guardians is still a pre-launch game and uh, the in-game economy doesn't officially exist yet uh, we can't get into too much of the details on how the play to earn angle works just yet, but we do have a good understanding of the game that is coming and how it's going to work um, and some of the things that are going to be available for us uh, that will allow us to make money. So let's talk about a couple of them. Uh, the most obvious and straightforward, whether you're a paying player or a free to play player, uh, is going to be taking your level one character and leveling it up to the maximum. Uh, adding a whole bunch of upgraded armor and weapons um, and whatever kinds of stats make the character better uh, and then selling it on the marketplace to somebody that's willing to pay a premium to skip straight to that power level. Um, that sort of angle is always available in this style of game. Uh, it's going to be so much better because it lives on the blockchain and people are going to be paying for it in Ethereum. Um, but uh, that will be one really fun way to earn money. Uh, you're also going to be gathering all sorts of in-game resources and items uh, that you will need for various reasons. A lot of that will be used to craft new items and upgrade different items, um, and those will all have value too. So expect to be trading and selling that amongst other players um, and earning a little bit extra that way as well. 
um, and then you also get to craft items with your guild and uh, when that happens it gets listed in the marketplace when it is sold the proceeds are distributed amongst the guildmates uh, based on how they contributed and who owns the guild uh, I expect that is where a lot of the best items are going to be made and then sold. Uh, if that's the case, it means those will probably be bigger sales too, which means this will be a lot of fun um, and we'll be earning bigger chunks of change together uh, when we do that. So if you're excited about Guild of Guardians like I am and want to stay on top of things and get a little bit more involved, uh, the first thing you want to do is join their Discord. Uh, i got a link for that for you below. Uh, that is the best way to stay on top of the game's development and news about different things like upcoming drops. Uh, there is supposed to be the next drop happening sometime in September, so um, if you want to participate in that, make sure you get in there and uh, uh, stay on top of that news. The other thing you want to do is check out their website, check out the marketplace that they built, um, and read through the white paper. Always read the white paper before you invest any of your own money. Um, they've done a good job and detailed a lot of what's to come and what we should expect within the game. Um, the other thing is subscribe to the free roll. Uh, we're talking all things play to earn uh, in the free roll, but uh, Guild of Guardians is going to be a heavy focus as this is a game I know that I'm going to want to play a lot of. Um, and so you can stay on top of uh, news and development um, and my progress with the game uh, through that subscription. Also follow us on Twitter. Um, again, we'll be talking all things play to earn um, and Guild of Guardians will be a heavy focus there as well.